Welcome to Square Foot Gardening. Hi, I'm Mel Bartholomew, the founder and president of the Square Foot Gardening Foundation. Our goal is to educate the world on the advantages of square foot gardening. And today, Earth Day, is a wonderful time to illustrate a couple of fine points. Let's talk about water and space and pollution. We can talk on a small scale of your backyard. We can also talk on a much larger scale of commercial farming. What's one of the largest concerns we have that surrounds Earth Day? Well, it's water. Enough of it, clean, usable, and unpolluted. Each one of those is really a separate subject. But let me tell you one fact about square foot gardening takes only 10% of the water of conventional single row gardening. That means for growing the same amount in either method, single row gardening takes 10 times as much water. But that's not the end of it. Because that water is spread over the entire farm area, either on the plants or in the rows or aisles, there's runoff. And if any animal or bird has been anywhere near that farmland, you know what they've left behind. And when it gets wet, it starts its way downhill. So if there's excess water from watering your garden or farm, it's going to start its trek downstream. It's going to go into the nearest little brook or stream bed and it's going to end up finally in a larger body of water. And who's down there ready to use that water? People. Us. So why wouldn't everyone want to use a gardening system like square foot gardening that can eliminate all of that? What about land space? Again, square foot gardening has a huge advantage. It takes only 20% in fractions, that's one-fifth of the space of conventional row gardening. Think of it another way. In the same amount of area, square foot gardening can grow five times as much food. That means we don't have to use all that space for gardening or farming. Or another way is, in the same amount of land we have right now, we can grow five times as much food. There are so many advantages of square foot gardening in many other different areas that I encourage you to go to our website, squarefootgardening.com, squarefootgardening.org, and become familiar, and then start your own garden. Get others to start it. We need community gardens that can really produce a lot of food. And because square foot gardening is so small, takes up so little space, it can be started almost anywhere, even on rooftops. Well, this is Mel Bartholomew wishing you Happy Earth Day and encouraging you to get involved. Do something really good for the Earth.